Oh my, oh my. I've been to Ulta, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Reviews. And today I've got a review on a couple of lipsticks that I've had for a while. And also just a little mini haul to show you what I've been shopping for today at Ulta. Now mind you, when I went there, I just went there to walk around after eating some dinner. Yeah, we see how that worked out. Hello. Here we go. First off, here's the receipt. Yes, I did buy all of this myself. Yeah, I know. It's not that bad though. Ulta's got some pretty good deals on stuff. Hmm. To start off with, something you may not expect from a makeup place. Um, some hand soap. And you're thinking, why would you buy hand soap at Ulta? Well, use the restroom there. They had some of this. And oh my gosh, it smells delicious, lemony, wonderful. This is called Sparkling Lemon Moisture Gel Hand Soap. Smelled it, had to have it, and it came home with me. Now you know, up at the counter, they've always got some neat little things to tempt you and get you to buy stuff. Well, I did. We're going to see how this works out when I finally open it up. But it is Model's Own Celestial Lip Glitter Kit. It wasn't that much. It was a few bucks. It's got a tube and an applicator. And I imagine it has to do with putting glitter on your lips. Uh, this one is called Moon Dust 09. It looks kind of white and iridescent and glittery in there. We'll see. I'll probably pop up a review about this sometime in the next few weeks because you know I love glitter and I can't wait to try it out. Something else shiny, maybe glittery and glimmery that I had to pick up uh, was an Ulta Beauty brand holographic eye and cheek palette. I swatched some of these colors there and it still has the plastic on it. It's so cool. I cannot wait to show y'all what this looks like because there is a purple um, highlighter in here that you know how much I love purple. I'm going to be able to highlight in purple. It's going to be fun. It's going to be silly. And again, not that expensive because it's Ulta's brand. Whoa. I've heard tons of good stuff about the NYX brand and I've never tried it. I know, right? Where have I been? And I've also heard about BB creams and BB balms. I've decided to try one. We'll see on those days when I don't want to go full foundation and stuff. Um, we'll see what it is. Is perfection in a tube? Well, I don't know about perfection, but we'll see what it can do for me. And I'll probably give this a really good try sometime over the next couple of weeks. Something I have used before, because I got it in some samples from Sephora, um, that I had to finally just go out and buy a full size of for myself. The Pore Fessional minimizes pores. It is wonderful. Uh, it really does get rid of those pores. You can use it over your makeup and everything. I've always liked using it. My samples are finally running out. It was time to take the plunge. This will probably last me two years because you use so little to get what you need out of it. Oh, another NYX thing that I picked up because I wanted to try because I've been kind of obsessed with um, eyeliners lately. The NYX Super Skinny Eye Marker. I like a lot of liquid eyeliners now. Um, the one that I have been really kind of nuts about lately is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Now it's not a marker, it's not like a felt tip. It's a brush, but the brush is so wonderful you would think that it's a felt tip. It doesn't fray, it doesn't get all weird and it comes out and just flows. You don't have to dip it in anything. I'm hoping that this is kind of similar for less than half the price. We'll see. I kind of went a little crazy with some Ulta stuff today. This is the Ulta Matte Lip Crayon. And boy, is it dark. Friend with me said, oh, get this one. And he was pointing at one that was actually black. And I said, no, not black. But you know what? We'll go purple. It matches the hair. This one is called Firecracker. It actually does kind of go with my hair. I'll wear it on camera at some point. Just not right this minute. It still has the seal on it, y'all. Finally, from my mini haul, because I bought some Ulta things, um, they had a freebie. And it's not just the cute little tie-dye looking vinylish bag. Oh no, it's full of makeup. 
yeah, like $80 worth of makeup that you get for free. Full size things, trial size things. I'll just take the paper off it a little bit and give it, let you see it. If I can get all the paper off it. Here we go. Plus there's coupons in there. Hello, I didn't even know that. <clears throat> Lots of stuff. I'll be going through this probably in a video all by itself. Looks like there's a sharpener, there's some lip stuff, there's eye stuff, there's a brush, a couple of palettes, little ones. We'll have to see how useful all of this is and or was, but uh, I know I'll have fun with it. Finally, the review of two things that I've actually been using and not just opening up a haul. First off is one lipstick. This is by Tarte. And it came in my Sephora play box. Yes, that's why it's so small. It's one of those uh, big samples where it's cute, it's little, but you get a good amount of product in it. Yeah, look at this. It's sort of a nude color, a warm, uh, almost a neutral. It's really pretty on. It wears well. Of course it does. It's tart. It's nice. Let's do some swatch. That's nice. It's a gorgeous summery kind of a color. Summery without going bright color. Um, plus, I think you can wear it into fall too. It's really good. Yes, it's just a cream lipstick. It's not a super matte. It's not a super drying thing. As a matter of fact, it feels super great on the lips because you are not going to get dried out wearing this. Um, lasted pretty well. I uh, had to reapply it after eating. That was about it. I've worn it for work a couple of days. And I really like it, even though it's a very neutral for me color. This one is called, let's see, Set Sail. Set Sail, y'all. Worth giving a look. The, the packaging is plastic, but it's pretty. Looks kind of blue marbled plastic kind of deal. I'm not sure what kind of theme they're going for, but I like it. The other lipstick that I'm reviewing today is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is one of the Urban Decay uh classics this one is actually a sheer color now it's a creamy lipstick but and it looks so dark i mean look at that you look like oh my god i'm never going to be able to wear this anywhere but look at it on and i'll come up close it is a nice sheer color you can still see some lip under there but the color is really there it kind of pops we'll do a swatch here next to the other one Ooh, it's kind of a purplish color. It's called Bruise. I know, leave it to Urban Decay to name something after like something paint. But it is called Bruise. Love the container of this one. You do have that Urban Decay name on there. Looking all shiny. It closes up nicely. That's not going to pop open in your purse. And it also goes all the way down and locks in. Twist it back up. You've got the, the UD, that Urban Decay symbol, on the lipstick itself, right there. Woohoo. And, well, I've got another color of this one, too. I have one that's called Plague, and it's sort of a sheer grayish purple. Yes, it's very goth-ish, you know, teenage goth meets middle-aged woman. Who knows? I like it. I wear it a lot when I wear purple stuff. Today, I just wanted to give Bruise a go because I hadn't gotten a chance to wear it out yet. And I do like these formulas. They're not long lasting, but they also don't dry your lips out. That's a big, big plus when you tend to wear a lot of liquid lipsticks that dry your lips out eventually. You need a break sometimes. And this is a nice, colorful, colorful break. I hope you enjoy the reviews and the little mini haul as much as I enjoy going shopping for the things and trying them out. Please join me for reviews, not only of makeup, but lots of other things right up here every week. And uh, hit that subscribe button down there if you would. See ya.